This video is going to be about the subatomic particles and atomic mass. So the three subatomic particles that you need to know for freshman biology are the proton, the neutron, and the electron. So now we're going to talk about some of the properties of these particles. So we're starting off with charge. So the charge for a proton is always going to be a positive one. And so for any atom to be neutral, the number of positive charges has to be equal to the number of negative charges. And those negative charges are going to be supplied by our electrons. So those are going to have a charge of negative one. And the neutron, kind of like the name implies, is going to have a neutral charge of zero. So now moving on to the mass of these particles. So the proton and the neutron are responsible for making up all of the mass in an atom. And so that means that the mass of an electron has to be zero AMU, or atomic mass units. So the proton and the neutron are both going to have a mass of one AMU. So now that we know the mass and the charge, we can move on to where these particles are found. So the proton and neutron make up all the mass of an atom, and all the mass of an atom is found in the nucleus of that atom. So that means the proton and the neutron both have to be in the nucleus. So the electrons are actually found outside of the nucleus in something called the electron cloud and in individual uh, electron orbitals, which we'll go into more detail in another video. So now that we know a little bit about the three subatomic particles, we can move on to atomic mass. So we're going to be working with oxygen just as an example. So some common ways that you might see oxygen represented is you'll always have um, the symbol of the element. So we get that right from the middle of the box on the periodic table. And then up here in this top left-hand corner, we're going to have the atomic mass, which we get from right here on the periodic table. For oxygen, it's 15.99, but we normally round that up to 16. So now in this bottom left corner is where we're going to put the atom's atomic number. So we find that right here on the periodic table, and the atomic number is going to tell us how many protons this atom has. And the atomic number is very important because it's what distinguishes one element from another element. So the last number that you might see uh, when an atom is written or represented in this form is a third number right here, which would be the charge. For a neutral atom, that charge will be zero, so that normally uh, will not show up in this notation, but if there is a charge, then it would show up right here. So this is read as oxygen 16, and you may also sometimes see it written out as a name of the element, a dash, and then the atomic mass. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.